Do not forget, you can support the channel with a like and you can also subscribe to be aware of the latest published videos. Thank you. We hope that here you can find the latest news, ideas and discoveries from the scientific world. October 13th, 1982, October 13th, 2022. 40 years since the catastrophe of the Romanian oil tanker UNIREA, the world's biggest naval loss since 1982. Today, October 13, 2022, marks 40 years since the occurrence of one of the biggest naval catastrophes in the history of Romanian commercial shipping, the total and final loss of the supertanker UNIREA. The UNIREA supertanker was the second large tonnage ship from the series of 150,000 TDW oil tankers. Built in Romania, on October 13, 1982, at 9.15, in calm sea conditions and very good visibility, the 150,000 TDW oil tanker. Unirea sank about 40 nautical miles south-southeast of Cape Caliacra, in the Black Sea, at a depth of about 1,400 meters, following a mysterious explosion. According to the document entitled Technical Expertise Report on the Establishment of the Circumstances and Causes that Led to the Loss of the Romanian Oil Tanker UNIREA in the Black Sea, between October 13, 15, 1982 file no. 212 divided by 1310 1982, Constanta Port Authority, presented on November 30, 1982, the Commission concluded that the total and final loss of the ship was caused by the explosion of unknown origin, the fire in the area of the explosion, the flooding of the port tanks, followed by the flooding of the tanks in the central area, the strong shock of the explosion in the area of the central tank too, breaking the ship in the central area, breaking and complete separation of the ship at the end, the sinking of the two parts of the ship through the gradual loss of their buoyancy, unfavorable hydrometeorological conditions, which made rescue operations difficult and prevented a search with autonomous divers of the damaged part of the ship. According to the same commission, the most probable cause seems to be the following. Starting from the situation in which the ship was prepared for the start of the degassing operation, it is very likely that, during the time interval that tank no. 3 central was opened, in the atmosphere inside it, in the immediate vicinity of the manhole, an explosive mixture was formed. The initiation of the explosion of this mixture could be caused by multiple causes capable of producing this phenomenon, of which we consider the most probable to be the electrical discharge arising from electrostatic accumulations. The explosion of the mixture in the central tank 3 had a destructive effect on the ship's hull. As a result of the position of the manhole placed in the port aft extremity of the central tank 3, a fact that explains the destruction of the partition wall on the port side, putting the central tank 3 in communication with the tank 3 on the port side, where, by opening the deck and the sideboard, the expansion of the explosive atmosphere was favored, simultaneously with the outbreak of the fire in this area, amplifying the vertical break of the ship's sideboard on the port side. Both Romanian ships and ships of the People's Republic of Bulgaria and the USSR, as well as Romanian and Bulgarian helicopters, participated in the rescue and assistance operations. Only one deceased was recorded, the other crew members being rescued by the Romanian ships Matru and TG Buger by a Romanian helicopter, which took three of the who required emergency medical care, and by the Soviet ship Ingai Eli, which recovered five other sailors. Of the 42 survivors, sailor Gabriel Georgescu was the last to be rescued, after spending almost eight hours in the cold waters of the Black Sea, being spotted by a Bulgarian helicopter. The insurance value of the ship, of $36.6 million, was fully recovered by the Romanian state from its insurers. The sinking of the Romanian ship was considered the biggest worldwide naval loss since 1982. On October 25, 2007, the book document UNIREA Disaster The World's Biggest Naval Accident Since 1982 was published. The work is the desire of the authors to bring before the public opinion data, information, testimonies, documents and photos about one of the biggest catastrophes in the history of the Romanian commercial fleet. If about the catastrophe of the ship Independenta due to the tragedy of the accident, the loss of the huge ship and, above all, the death of the 42 Romanian sailors, the communist regime at that time had to publish a short statement about the accident. In the case of Unirea, absolutely nothing was said officially. In this way, in the absence of clear and clarifying information, due to the aberrant censorship of that time, rumors appeared. Most of these referred to a sabotage, a criminal hand. Other rumors advanced the hypothesis of an accident, but its cause, they said, would have been the ship hitting a floating mine. The authors of the book testify, among other things, we carried out extensive documentation and not an investigation. 
However, completing the investigation from 1991 after obtaining new data, information, and documents, the statements of witnesses, specialists in the field, survivors, we were surprised to discover many elements, which, analyzed, compared, processed, led us to conclusions other than those of the expertise carried out on the date of the accident and contained in an official document. We did not intend for a single moment to question the professionalism and good faith of the specialists who investigated, drafted, and signed the official document about this case, and we do not wish that the reproduction of our conclusions, in contradiction with the official ones, lead to the appearance of polemics in this regard. We believe that the truth about this accident has not been told in its entirety or has been demonstrated partially and intentionally distorted, the method used being omission.